Artificial intelligence technology has come a long way in the past few years, particularly in the area of image generation. So this has the potential to disrupt many different industries, but in particular, this is a game changer for non-fungible tokens or NFTs in the crypto space because you can create entirely new categories of NFTs completely generated by AI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your own artificial intelligence NFT collection for free step by step. I'm going to show you how to do all this as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step by step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into this. So last week, I put out a video talking about how AI, you know, stands the potential to completely disrupt the NFT space because you can create, you know, brand new NFT collections without needing the help of an actual artist. And not just that, you can also create entirely new categories of NFTs that go beyond even our wildest imaginations because, you know, the computers are just generating this stuff for us. So the possibilities are completely endless. So definitely go check out that video if you haven't already. But in this video, I want to create a practical hands-on step-by-step guide to show you how you can launch your own NFT collection with artificial intelligence image generation completely for free, you know, from scratch. So in this video, we're going to use Stability AI's Stable Diffusion. So this is a brand new open source tool where you can essentially just give the model a text prompt and it can spit out unique images for you. So we can use a hosted version of Stable Fusion over on uh, huggingface.co. I'll put a link to this down in the description below, but basically you can just enter in your text prompt here and it'll generate the images for your NFT and then we'll put everything on the blockchain after that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so inside of this application, I'm gonna go ahead and enter in a prompt to generate these images. So you can see, you click on advanced options here, you can see we're gonna get four images. We'll have 45 steps here. You can just leave these other default settings. You can mess around with the seat if you want to to kind of change how things work. But here you can see how it works. Basically, uh, you know, examples are a high-tech solar punk utopia in the Amazon rainforest, a Pikachu fine dining with a video, or sorry, a view of the Eiffel Tower. There's lots of crazy stuff in here, okay? So let's just try to make it as weird as possible. Let's say, you know, cute penguin eating ice cream in rainforest galaxy, all right? Let's do ice cream as two words here and then just do generate image and see what happens. So you'll see you have a queue here and it'll tell you the approximate amount of time in seconds that it's going to take to generate your images. So we'll wait for that to finish and then we'll see what happens. All right, and whenever you're finished, you can see your NFT images uh, generated here. So again, this did four images. So if you want to do a bigger collection, obviously you need to either do this several times or you know run your own model or get access to like an api or something where you could generate many more than four but this is a cool demo to start off with so you can see the examples here there's pretty you know wild and outlandish uh, images that are generated by the api or the ai i should say and you can see one that looks kind of cartoonish here that's kind of what we're going for so if you wanted this to be more of like a generative nft cartoon you could play around the keywords here and say like cartoon or something like that like cartoon penguin um you know or like hand drawn or uh, you know, pastels, whatever it is, right? But we'll just use this as an example. So I'm just going to go through and save all these images to my desktop so we can upload them. All right, so now that you've got those images generated, go ahead and download the code for this. All right, I'll put a link to this code down in the description below. So you can just uh, copy this link and then do, uh, you know, git clone in your terminal, all right, and then paste it in. Or you can just download it directly from the code example here if you don't want to do uh, command line. Okay, so basically just go ahead and clone that. I'm gonna skip this step since I've already done it. Just make sure you enter into this newly created directory like this. And then just go ahead and open up this project in a text editor. Okay, you can use whatever text editor you'd like. I'm just personally using Sublime Text. That's what I've used for a very long time. So inside of here, you can see that we have the solidity source code for our NFT. Uh, I'm using the Open Zeppelin library to essentially bootstrap an NFT from scratch. Okay, you don't have to write all this code yourself. You can just copy and paste this template. Okay, we'll talk about this here in a second. But then let's talk about the images, okay? So the images that you just created, uh, you want to replace the images that are inside of this particular project if you're going to customize it. So you can just open this folder in your file browser, okay? Then just drag and drop your images into this images folder and then rename them, okay? But you want to rename them in order. So if you have images like one, two, three, four, they must be in order and they must also use this naming scheme because of how we're going to upload those images uh, so that we can save these image, save these NFTs themselves to the blockchain, okay? So also we have a metadata folder inside of here, which has the JSON metadata for the NFT. 
So really, the NFT has you know multiple parts. It's got the Solidity source code for the smart contract, uh, but we don't put metadata about the NFTs on a blockchain, and we don't put the images that correspond to the NFT images on a blockchain either. We put those on a, a cloud storage with IPFS, which is kind of like a blockchain, but not really. It's a decentralized network. Uh, it's where we can store files. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to upload your images and also your metadata to IPFS right now before we put the NFT uh, source code with Solidity on the blockchain. So go ahead and head on over to pinata.cloud. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to upload to IPFS. You could upload to IPFS multiple ways. You could run an IPFS node on your computer if you wanted to, but this is the easiest way. You can go ahead and create a free account here. Uh, and once you've done that, go ahead and log in. And once you've logged in, you'll see your dashboard here. I've got a bunch of files already uploaded, so you shouldn't see anything if it's a brand new account. Uh, but you can upload your images like this. So go ahead and click Upload. Go ahead and click Folder. Okay. And then I'm going to do this off screen. I'm going to select the folder from my computer. Basically, I'm just going to select uh, the folder from this project that we're using in Sublime Text here. And once you can, once you've chosen that folder, you can give it whatever name you want to. I'm just gonna say uh, AI images. Okay, click upload, and now you'll see uh, all this stuff uh, pinned to IPFS right here. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and take the CID thing and copy it. Okay, this is an IPF hash that points to where those images are, uh, the folder for your images. And so what you want to do is go back into your metadata inside of here, and each of these metadata files has a corresponding file for each picture. So you can see, you know, one.png corresponds to one.json. This is where you can define all the metadata for your NFT. I've just got some, you know, placeholder stuff in here. It's just the names, the AI NFT one description is, you know, my special AI, AI NFT. You can change this whatever you want to. You can change the attributes here. But what the important thing here is see this IPFS hash? You want to replace this. You want to copy what was here and then replace it uh, inside of each of these metadata files, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of these. All right. And then now that's going to point to where the image actually lives on top of IPFS. So now we want to go through and repeat this process for uh, the metadata as well. So we'll click Upload, all right? Click Folder. And then we're going to select the uh, metadata. Basically, you want to find this metadata folder and upload the entire thing. So I'm just going to do it off screen so I don't expose all of my files here. Um, let's just go back and do metadata. All right, so I've done that. Now, once it's finished, I'm just going to call this uh, AI metadata. You can call whatever you want to. Click upload. And then once that's finished, you should similarly see uh, a hash uh, from IPFS. Okay, so AI metadata. So let's go ahead and leave that there. We're going to use this whenever we start actually putting the smart contracts on the blockchain and minting the NFTs. All right, so now what we want to do is go ahead and put our smart contracts on the blockchain. So I'm going to put them on the Ethereum network, but I'm going to use a test network called the Rinkeby test network, okay? So uh, this will allow you to actually put your smart contracts on the network without having to pay any real money. So you need a MetaMask wallet to get started. So go ahead and uh, load up a MetaMask wallet here and then head on over to rinkabyfaucet.com and you can just paste in your address here and say, send me ETH and this will fund your wallet with some test ether so that you can pay for the transaction fees, okay? So um, once you've got that funded, the next thing that you wanna do is actually deploy the contract to the network. So I'm gonna use Remix for this. We're gonna do everything in our browser. So head on over to remix.ethereum.org. This is an in-browser IDE for smart contracts. Uh, I'm gonna click accept here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to the contracts folder here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new uh, file. All right, and actually that's a workspace, sorry. I always get confused in Remix. Uh, click new file here, and we'll call this AINFT.soul. Okay, so this is the exact same name as the uh, this Solidity file here inside of our project. So go find that source code, all right? Copy everything inside of it, all right? And let's go inside of our, uh, inside of Remix and paste it in, okay? This is the source code. Basically, all this stuff is just library code up here. And then down here is uh, the actual smart contract code. It just inherits from, um, it just inherits um, this, this from this library right here from Open Zeppelin. And then we can essentially just deploy this smart contract with some basic customizations with our constructor. Here's a name. Okay, here's the symbol. You can change these if you want to. And then we have a mint function because we're going to deploy it without any tokens from scratch. And then we're going to call this mint function to essentially uh, just send the user um, NFTs and it will increment them one by one. We're all going to have five in this case. Ideally, you want to customize this to where you have, you know, more uh, then five, okay, but we're just going to pass in the 
token URI, which will put it on IPFS. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our um, compiler here. Let's do Solidity version 0 0.8.17, the most recent version. We'll click compile. So actually, let's just fix that. Hold on a second. I've got multiple license identifiers inside of here. Let's just take the one at the top. I'll go ahead and fix that in the code example. Let me just go ahead and change it now. So when I push this up to GitHub, it will be fixed. You shouldn't have that problem anymore. All right, let's go compile again. All right, and now let's compile, or sorry, let's deploy. Uh, let's change our network to, let's see here, injected provider MetaMask. Make sure you are connected to the Rinkaby test network here. So you switch networks here down to Rinkaby. All right. And you'll see that confirmed here. Rink can be network, a chain ID number four. Make sure you're not on the Ethereum mainnet or you know some other network. And then make sure you're connected with your account that you funded. You should see your uh, Ether balance here. I've got 2.5 test Ether, so that I know this is going to work. That can pay the transaction fees. And then let's go ahead and deploy. All right. And then we'll see our uh, gas fee here. Just click confirm. And we'll view this transaction on Etherscan and we'll wait for it uh, to get included into the block. All right, so one quick note while I'm waiting for this to finish is uh, ever since Ethereum merged to proof of stake, uh, the, the favored test networks have been changing. So you might need to do this on a different test network in the future. You can use something like Gourley, which is a pretty fav favored test network. You can see Rinkeby Test and Explore will be deprecated and read only on this date. Um, all right. So anyways, just, just to know, you, you could repeat these same steps on a different test network. It doesn't really matter. Uh, that faucet that I showed you before will support multiple test networks. But anyways, this has now, uh, been deployed. Okay. We can see our contract was created right here. Okay. So now we can actually go through the minting process. All right. So in order to mint them, what we're going to do is call this function here. That's going to actually do minting for us on the smart contract, but we're going to pass in the token URI, which needs to be, um, you know, an actual IPFS URL. So I'm going to go ahead and create a readme just while I'm doing this. I'll call it readme.md. Okay. And, uh, inside of here, I'm just going to, uh, actually put in some example URIs. So let's say here, uh, example, say token URIs and I'm just going to paste in example here and what you're going to do is um, you're going to take this all right these example URIs all right and then you are going to replace the ones from you're going to replace the hash with what you got from pinata cloud so go back to pinata cloud all right and find the uh, find the metadata CID right here so go ahead and copy that and then go ahead and paste it into here and update this hash. And that's what you're gonna use to call the mint function. So, you know, you can uh, basically just verify this for yourself. All right, you can go to, to your, your file, your web browser and literally just put in that URL into your web browser and see if it returns uh, the metadata that you expect before you upload the NFT. And so basically like if you take that, you put it in your browser, okay, literally like in the, in the actual uh, browser, you know, the URL bar, uh, you can see the metadata. It's on IPFS. It's reading it from IPFS. You can see IE on NFT. You can likewise copy the image, okay? And then let's search for that as well. You can see if I put the image in the URL bar, it shows me the first image for my project, okay? So that's how you know that it's right. So anyways, go ahead and take that successful, um, you know, URL right here, and then go back to Remix, and you'll see your deployed contract here, which you can interact with, and click down, and you'll see that you can interact with all the functions for that smart contract here, like approve, mint, safe transfer, balance of, all right? So let's go ahead and call the mint function, and then I'm just gonna paste in the string, which is that uh, IPFS URL. Again, that's that thing right here. And we'll go ahead and create our first NFT. Click transact. And I'll sign the transaction with MetaMask. Make sure you got enough gas in your wallet to cover the transaction. We'll view it on Etherscan, wait for it to get included into a block. All right, it's indexing. All right, whenever that finished, you can see the successful transaction. You can see that it logged um, a transfer event here, which is what happens whenever you mint it. You can see um, that a new token was created, token ID of one. You can actually click on the NFT itself, and you can see that this is now uh, picking up your artificial intelligence NFT. You can see the name here uh, and the symbol, AI NFT. And so you can also go to Etherscan, excuse me, not Etherscan, OpenSea. You can go to testnets.opensea.io. 
paste in your address for your smart contract and you can see that it has been indexed. So maybe wait just a couple minutes for this to pick up, but it'll automatically index it. Click on artificial intelligent NFT and then you can see your NFT uh, image right here. All right. You can likewise see, uh, you know, the metadata that you added, like my special AI NFT number one. Okay. The description, uh, the name AI NFT one, which we filled out in our stats. So that's how you do it. That's how you create an NFT uh, generated completely by artificial intelligence and you put it on the blockchain. Okay. So, you know, we just did this for, you know, one image. Okay. You can repeat this process for as many as you want to. You can generate as many images as you want to as long as you go through this exact same process. All right, so that's an overview of how to launch your own NFT collection with artificial intelligence completely for free. So I'd love to see what you've created with this tutorial. So make sure whenever you put your project out there, you tag me on Twitter. You can go find me over at Dapp University. And so if you like this video, then make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. That really helps these videos out so then more people can learn about blockchain. And if you did like this video and you want to take the next step and really learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then definitely head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to start the day. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.